Hi, my name is David from Patterns in the Cloud, creators of the subscription AutoShip plugin for WooCommerce. Our plugin is a full featured AutoShip manager, meaning when a customer checks out from your store and elects to have certain items in their cart placed on a recurring order schedule, otherwise known as an AutoShip, we enable the ability for them to manage those recurring orders or auto ships in their account immediately after placing that first successful order. I'm going to take you through that process today, but let, first let me show you a few things about what they'll get at the end of that order. They'll get a screen like this inside of their account. We're displaying this demo today on a theme by WooThemes called My Style. It's a very basic WooCommerce theme, and we've tested our plugin, which was created on the Bootstrap 3 responsive framework on multiple WooCommerce themes. And let me tell you, this framework for Bootstrap displays this interface for the AutoShip Manager beautifully, especially on mobile devices, just as well as it can on desktops. So it's important to point out a few things. This plugin is completely integrated with your existing WooCommerce shipping methods, uh, your payment gateway integrations, and allows you to update both your shipping address, delivery method, payment info, items, the whole gambit that you would need in order to fully manage a recurring order of multiple items or even singular items. This isn't going to be available, like I said in the beginning, until you've actually placed your first order with items on AutoShip, and that's to protect the businesses from having fraudulent orders come in, especially on a recurring schedule from customers that actually haven't been validated before. So we're going to go ahead and place our first order as a new customer today. So here you have a fresh account that I've set up for demonstration purposes. None of this credit card information is actually valid. It's all for demonstration and none of this information is an actual person. But what you can see is that having never placed an auto ship order before, logged into my account, I don't see the actual auto ship manager. It's not available to me. But what I can do is place an order and ask for items to be placed on a recurring schedule. So let's go to our shop page and let's place a couple of these items on order and some of them onto auto ship so that you can see how that first auto ship is created and how that auto ship manager is unlocked in my account section. These are equestrian supplements for the first client that we created this for and I'm going to add some of these balance bars to my order. This is a simple product meaning it doesn't have any sizing options and what you can see that our auto ship plugin brings in are a couple of fields additional to the regular stock WooCommerce uh, product fields. So we have the labeling, allowing us to label uh, our product for a particular name. So I'm going to put in a name here for Eduardo. And then if we want to add this product to an auto ship, we would select monthly or bi monthly, and you can set what those recurring days should be for your particular customers. So maybe yours were 30 days and 60 days. In our particular case, we wanted to do 28 days for one month or 56 days for every other month. I'm going to put this one on a monthly reorder. I'm going to put two units in my cart on a monthly reorder. So we'll go ahead and add that to our cart. If you want to see what that go ahead and looks like in your cart, you can see that these options are now displaying in the cart, auto ship monthly, customer label, Eduardo. So let's go ahead and add some more items. Say I want to add a variable product, meaning an item with multiple sizes. Let's go ahead and add some of these treat bites. And let's try the bulk size. These will be for Benito. We'll put these also on my monthly reorder. Great. If we view that in the cart now, we see it's also auto ship monthly, customer label, Benito. So let's add another item, but not add it to an auto ship. Let's try some muscle build powder. And say I labeled it for Benito, but I didn't want it on an auto ship. I could either add it to my cart, or if I thought about putting it on auto ship, but I didn't want it, I could opt out of it with that selection as well. We'll go ahead and add that to my cart. 
Let's go ahead and see what the card looks like now. Okay, so we have two products here that we placed on a monthly auto ship, another product here that we don't want on auto ship but we do want on this one time order. I'm going to go ahead and elect for the two day shipping. And you can see that we're applying a Texas state sales tax. My demo account is using a Texas zip code, and that's why that's processing. And our auto ship manager will take that into account according to the settings you have in WooCommerce. Let's go ahead and proceed to the checkout. So I've created a little dummy account. Pay no mind to the specific details. They point to no one. We got my order overview. Always looks nice in WooCommerce. Again, this is a stock theme. And I'm just going to put in my demonstration credit card information. And I'd just like to point out before I place this order that you can actually go to our website and try out this demo for yourself, just like I'm doing. Okay, so I'll go ahead and place the order. Oh, I forgot to put in my phone. Just resubmit, place the order. And the order has been received. Our typical order confirmation page is showing up beautifully. And you'll notice that because I had some auto ship items in that order, I have a little link that I can use here to review my auto ship schedules immediately. There's also a lot of email notifications that are connected to our auto ship management plugin. I'm not going to show those in this video, but you can certainly uh, reference the links in the comments below this video and watch those other videos according to how to set up the plugin and how to uh, set up the different email notifications that come packaged with our solution. So uh, this order has been received. This order is going to be shipped out to me. But if I wanted to go ahead and view my upcoming auto ship order schedules, I could click this link. And I could also uh, log into my account and view it just the same way. That link really just brings you to your account page. I'll just show you real quick though. If I click my account, it brings you to the same area. Okay, so first thing you're going to see, this nice green notification bar telling you what's coming up in a nice semantic way. The next shipment date is March 5th, 2014. Ship again monthly. The reason it is March 5th is because from the day that I placed this order in February, 28 days later was automatically calculated by the auto ship manager and that next shipment date was set for me. So that monthly reorder is going to start right from the get-go when I place that first order. So I'm going to act as if I'm coming back in here and I want to make some changes to that upcoming order. For one, let's say I want to push this date out a whole week. Instead of March 5th, I want to ship out March 12th. So I make that change, updated very beautifully and simply via Ajax, little notifications firing to let me know that change was successful. Let's say I wanted to add another item. If I click add another item, my entire WooCommerce catalog is available for me to choose from. I'm going to add some chia seeds, quantity of one, and I'm going to add these for Benito. Go ahead and save. Let's say I wanted to change uh, these treat bites from instead of Benito, I wanted to give them to Eduardo in terms of the, the labeling. So I have that custom label available on my item, and I'm just going to change it right here out of the WooCommerce Manager. You know what, I'm going to up that quantity to two, save the item. Let's say I didn't want all these balance bars, I just wanted to take the quantity down one. I could hit down, I'm going to be prompted to update my quantities by the manager, hit that button, changes are saved, good to go. All right, so another feature that we have here that you can see are the pause and play features. So let's say I logged in and I just wasn't sure when I wanted my next auto ship to actually be placed. I could just pause this order right away. Nothing would ship in this place. All shipments are paused. I can reactivate it very easily. I'm showing my summary again. And let's say I want to go ahead and use this bi-monthly auto ship to ship out every other month. And I want to go ahead and set a schedule um, sometime after March 5th. I can just unpause it, add some items. So let's do the uh, chia seeds. Let's just do another quantity of one. 
and we're going to do these. Let's see, Benito already has some, so I'll do these for Eduardo. But he's only going to get them every other month instead of every month. Okay. Let's say for some reason I wanted this to ship out before uh, March 5th. So let's go ahead and push this up. Let's say I want to ship these out sometime next week, February 12th. Immediately, my auto ship manager is going to push this to the first position because this is what's going to ship next. What ships after that one is my monthly auto ship on March 5th. If I pause this one, however, my monthly auto ship then moves back into first position because it has the next ship date. And just one more time for demonstration purposes, this is how it's going to look on a phone. Very, very easy nice and spacious. You can show and hide the items to make it a little bit simpler in terms of an overview. Make changes to your shipping address. And I'll pull that back up to the full desktop view. Make changes to your payment info, including the billing address and the credit card. And you can change your delivery method. It's important to note that all of these selections apply to both orders. Okay, and because I have the tax set up for the state of Texas and my shipping address falls within the state of Texas, that's included in the subtotals here. If I enabled my every other month auto ship here, you would see taxes are being calculated. And if I change the shipping to two day, which in this demonstration is flat rated at $10 it's going to apply that shipping method to both auto ships. Okay, that gives you a full overview of how our auto ship manager works and how it looks. If you'd like, watch the other videos that cover how to set this plugin up in WooCommerce for WordPress, as well as how to customize the different emails that fire to your customers as they make changes to their auto ship, uh, pause them, or have different events happen, like a payment fail, for example. We've really thought of everything a customer would need to self-manage this so that it truly is a beautiful auto ship manager for your customers. Should be great for similar stores, supplement companies, or any type of uh, monthly service that provides order or, or items on order that you want to place and make changes to possibly from month to month. Enjoy the plugin and see the comments in links below for where to buy it on Code Canyon. Thanks very much.